Oh, hey everybody, today is October 23rd, Monday, 2023, 10.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Clearwater, Florida. United States of America, thank you for watching my video. I'm just going to do a very quick uh, Tampa Bay chemtrail report. Um, I keep hearing that uh, chemtrails are no longer a thing. Uh, and they're no longer, or they are a thing, but they're no longer a threat. I don't know. All I know is that we've been having the most amazing weather here lately. It's pretty nice this morning. Not as nice as it has been. Very cool. Just really, really delightful. Uh, kind of unusual for October for it to be this good. Um, but I can't really speak to that with certainty because of what I'm about to say. Yesterday, though, the chemtrails were insane. Unbelievable. Like six, eight airplanes flying in formation, spraying the sky. A friend of mine sent me a picture. I'll include that in the post. Um, and then the entire sky was totally blanketed with what I refer to as a pollution blanket. Bill Gates has talked about it openly. Al Gore has talked about it openly, all on national TV. Al Gore was on the uh, Ellen DeGeneres show. The head of the CIA, uh, John Brennan, talked about it. He referred to it as SAI, stratospheric, stratospheric aerosol injection. They all like their, they love their multisyllabic gibberish because it's like the incantations of witchcraft. It hypnotizes people, um, the masses, uh, or, or even an individual. If you're talking to somebody and they're talking about something abstract, you don't really get it. As soon as they apply some credible sounding multi-syllabic phrase to it uh, all of a sudden it has a psychological effect it all of automatically gains credibility just by them mentioning that phrase and I hope the wind isn't blowing on the microphone anyway um, otherwise it's gonna be a lot of background noise so I'll step back inside just in case it is all right and uh, so anyway now following the the sky being totally blanketed um, yesterday the heat came. It was hot, muggy, and stuff. It was terrible yesterday. And I've noticed the correlation between the chemtrails and the heat. And it's significant because, like I said, the weather has been so beautiful. And then the chemtrails came, and then it was hot and muggy. Now, today you can see the remnants of it. It's still pretty well blanketed. As it goes off into the distance, it becomes more and more blanketed. That's, I believe that's because we're looking at the sky at more and more of an angle. So because of perspective, it compounds the uh, aerosol injection. Uh, Al Gore referred to it as a compounded mixture of uh, stuff, including sulfuric acid. Uh, Bill Gates refers to it as uh, it has different things, uh, but what I, I'm just talking about what I've heard. I mean, they, all go around, they talk about it all the time. It's not like they just talk about it occasionally. They talk about it all the time. But uh, I think he refers to it as dust, micro dust. I'm not sure though. He may also, and anyway, it's some kind of gas that expands and stays suspended for hours. There is uh, something they call salting, and that's where the harder particles in the gas falls to the ground. Uh, aluminum, um, but all the poisonous metals, aluminum, uh, which is ground up into powder, and then it's referred to as uh, aluminum oxide, barium oxide. Um, there's one that starts with S, I uh, can't remember right now. But like I said, Al Gore is referred to uh, sulfuric acid. Um, strontium, that's the other one, strontium. So all uh, radioactive um, poisonous metals is the general consensus of what's being sprayed in the air. And uh, <clears throat> you talk about the wildfires, uh, the thing about aluminum when it's powderized like that, it's like a sparkler. It causes everything to burn really hot and really fast. So they're salting the earth with highly combustible um, materials, and then they're using their uh, energy weapons to ignite the combustible materials that they've sprayed. So, and of course, it's a multi-layered, multi-purpose initiative. It does a lot of things. It makes people sick, which drives, which drives people into the medical system which is, uh, you know, gearing things up for the great depopulation agenda. Uh, it also makes people uh, submissible, not submissible, subject, subject to uh, elect electromagnetic manipula manipulation, such as uh, 
sky to skull where they can implant thoughts or so on and so forth. And also it makes us, uh, with the uh, powderized heavy metals, it makes us walking, talking, electromagnetic transmitters so they can track us like a like they track a cell phone anywhere anywhere with anywhere we go and it, there's much much more to it than that obviously i think um it's obvious to me anyway i don't know if it is to everybody else but there are there are reasons that uh, you know they do it that are above and beyond what we could ever begin to imagine but if you think about why why they do these things think about yourself make planning your day you know if you say i'm going to go to get some donuts um, you might okay you might go if you might go out if that's the only reason you're going out it could happen but more than likely uh, more often we try to have multiple reasons for what we do you know we try to maximize our time it's just natural it's not anything that has to be taught or learned it's just it's just kind of natural if I'm going to go here I'll also go there and I'll also go there and I'll also go there yeah, I'll do that all at once and then you know so kill two birds with one stone is the common phrase so it's the same thing with them except it's that same principle on steroids because they're a you know they're a society and they're advanced um, they're the elite they're the most educated the most I'm not, that doesn't make them better it just means that they have more free time on their hand, hands to sit around and uh, scheme and dream and think and learn about esoteric uh, advanced things so all right, that's uh, that's it today. It was really been beautiful weather last week, and then yesterday we got hammered with uh, unbelievable amount of chemtrails. Today you can see the remnant total coverage looking off into the distance, almost total coverage. Now I don't know, you know, if you can't see it, does that mean it's not there? I I would tend not to believe that. Um, but when when you can see it, I guess that would. What does that mean? That just means it's really, really, really dense you know or really thick and then uh, like it is now the more I look the more I see so I guess it's safe to assume it's there even if you can't see it everywhere like between those trails there so it seems like they sprayed like mad yesterday and now now today they're done and they're just gonna let their the work they did yesterday kind of hang and heat up heat things up I don't know uh, you know it kind of makes me think of Lush. Lush is uh, supposedly some um, uh, metaphysical, oh wow, there's a friggin' hawk. Look at that, beautiful hawk. It just landed on my patio. Look at that, little baby. Aw, that's so sweet. Anyway, he was beautiful. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Lush is, uh, they, they, uh, they get energy from our suffering. So, uh, you know, obviously you could hurt, physically harm someone, hit them in the head with a rock or something, and that would be louche. Um, or you could make the entire population uncomfortable because they're hot. You know, and it, nobody's really quote unquote suffering per se, but at the same time, everybody's suffering because it's hot, you know? So it's like, a, it's like low level on an individual basis, but in the aggregate, it's a lot more than just hitting one person in the head with a rock. So, um, you know, and I think that as, as far out and abstract and weird the concept of louche is, I think if we really thought about it, we'd have to admit that we have known people in our lives and maybe even ourselves on occasion have taken pleasure from other people's suffering, you know, and... Uh, so that's just something that we've all experienced. We've never really thought or conceived or imagined that there was a science behind that or a philosophy or a you know, formalized uh, construct or formalized um, you know, structure of uh, scientific or social principle. Uh, but, you know, maybe it is. Or maybe they've just created one and, and kind of like... Made a made a lay. Uh, what do you call it when you put a piece of plastic, clear plastic, over something, like a layover? It's not a layover. It's a uh, laminate. Anyway, it's like when you put a graph over a landscape and you break the landscape into the little squares. You know, maybe they've just taken this uh, idea of taking pleasure from other people's suffering, and they just uh, created a uh, sort of like a I can't think of the word, like a nomenclature or a uh, 
yeah, nomenclature is not too bad, but basically like a formalized study of it. So I don't know, or maybe it's a real thing, or maybe it becomes real once you create a formalized study or of it. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. God bless you. I probably rambled. I apologize. Uh, peace, blessings, and liberty to you and yours. Again, today is October 23rd, 2023, about 1045, close to that a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Florida, Florida, United States of America. Peace, blessings, and liberty. Bye.